And welcome to another handbag video! Yay! In today's video, I am going to be doing a first impression slash little mini review of the Givenchy and Tagama in a size small in the color bright pink. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe before you go to join the candy crew because the only thing we're missing here is you. But let's just get right into today's video. Right, guys. So I recently got this bag. I will insert me unboxing her somewhere here. Givenchy and Tagona in the color bright pink. I will do close-ups and everything. You guys know how I do, but I love her so much. This has been on my wish list for longer than I can count. Like it's ridiculous, and I'm just so happy that I was able to get her. I love it so much. I bought it as like an early birthday present because my birthday is this month, but I love this so much. So let me get into just first impressions and everything of this bag. So currently right now she is filled she's filled up a lot um it's very heavy so this bag has some weight to it without anything in it it's pretty heavy like it's it feels like you have stuff in it so when I added my stuff to it it's like ouch <laughs> my shoulder hurts or if I'm holding it like this my hand hurts quicker my arm hurts so I also went out shopping today for the first time with this bag and when I tell you guys it hurt <laughs> like this is a heavy bag like you know that that's fine like she's got some good quality and some good structure to her but just so you know it might not be an air and running bag type of bag um but even without stuff in it, it's still heavy so it's just it's just a heavy girl so i got the i got the small one so she's in the size small the color bright pink and this is the sugared goat skin um the other option i believe was it calf skin i can't i can't remember but it's more of the like shiny type of leather i really wanted like the textured grainy leather only because i like the way it looks i i i don't know like i i don't know which one i should have chosen but i think at least for color the color antigonas with the sugar goat skin it is absolutely beautiful but guys if i get this bag in, look i would definitely buy this bag in but if i could get this bag again i would get it in black in like that smooth leather because the black with that smooth leather baby now that's cute that's a vibe but like i've got this one right now but i'm just saying like if i do have to pick a smooth leather one it's gonna be the black one so anyway so one of my favorite features about this bag the thing that made me want it i'm not gonna lie like i wanted it so bad only because of not only because of but this chunky zipper excuse me like it is the thickest zipper I've ever had on a bag so some could argue that it's too thick like when you are trying to unzip this it's it's a struggle it's hard like you've got to sit it down and you've kind of got to use both hands but like nobody else is going to get into it so like it's trade-offs depends on what you want but I personally love it it is just super chunky and it gives me like that like industrial or like street feel but like still cute like I, I don't know I just love the chunky zipper and then another thing that I love is the structure so even without anything in this bag she is structured like she doesn't bend she's not folding like it's a beautiful bag without like shapers or anything so it's like this beautiful geometric shape and it's just it's perfect and as you guys know I got mine from fashion file so she's used so the shape might have even been better before you know someone else owned her so like it really like holds its shape even through all of like, this one personally has been through. I love how minimal it looks. Um, it just has this really tiny like Givenchy logo up front and nothing else. So like if I'm going somewhere that like I don't really want to have my designer bag with me, I'll just like flip it to the back and now it just looks like 
a regular bag unless you know like if you know you know but like you know you could just flip it to the back and not have to worry about that so she also comes with a strap now that is how I carry her mostly because I'm I'm an on-the-go person. I'm always doing something. I'm always doing something. I'm always running errands. I'm always at the store. I'm always shopping. Like I so I don't want to have to carry it like this only or like on the crook of my arm. Like I no. Like if I'm going on a date night or something, I'm gonna take the strap off and use it like that. But like for everyday use, it's the strap for me, baby. So putting a strap on, like I said, my shoulder hurts. Like <laughs> this right here is a heavy bag. But no matter how much stuff I put in it, like she is full, like the strap hasn't fallen off. So I've seen lots of videos and heard lots of horror stories of the strap falling off like while you're out and about and like that's like embarrassing. Like I would be like, oh my god, my bag is on the floor. And like anyway, so I've heard lots of horror stories about that, but it hasn't happened to me. Even when I it's so full, like you might think it would come off, but it's not. So the other thing about the strap is it look can you guys see that it's kind of like a little there's like a little divot here and there's also one on that d ring there so in order for it to come off you have to line it up perfectly see and then it comes off like it's not it shouldn't just fall off um i don't know if maybe some people have like a like their metal is loose like i don't know if that's the case maybe like grab another one or exchange it because my, mine just doesn't do that. I don't know, like I have no idea. I'm like, I'm really happy about that, but mine just doesn't fall off. And I am so grateful because I'm I'm a strap user, like I'm using the strap. Um, another thing I really love about this is the feet. Like this baby here, she has feet feet. Like these aren't fake, these are feet feet. Like they have like some like get up to them. Like it lifts the bag up. Like it's a good like set of feet. Like usually my bags have feet and it's like, She's basically still sitting on her butt. Like, <laughs> it's pointless. So, I really love that these feet are actually doing something and your bag is not sitting on whatever surface that you put it on. And I love that so much. I just, like, I'm just so in love with this bag. So, also on the inside, let me go over, um, like, compartments and everything. So, on the inside, you have two pockets. You have two pockets and a zip pocket. So. One of the pockets kind of, it's like a little scrunchy pocket. I'll show you guys this somewhere here. Anyway, you have one that's like a little scrunchy pocket. You could put like many thing in there. Then you have a bigger pocket next to it. I have like my masks and stuff in there. And then on the other side, you have a zip pocket. And then that's where you have like your Givenchy logo. Um, and you can put stuff that needs to be zipped away. Like for instance, I have my card holder in here. So um, it can hold more than just my car holder. I feel like I can put like lotion, maybe like feminine products and stuff in there and it's still gonna be like a nice size. That zipper pocket expands, so you can put a lot in that. And I really love that. Um, also, this just seems like a very, very durable bag. Like, I don't have time to baby my bags. Like, I go to work. Um, like I said, I'm running errands 25-8. I'm running errands all the time. Like I don't have t I don't have time to say, oh, ow, I bumped her. Like I don't have time for that. And this one is just it's giving dependable, and I really love that. And like I love that so much that now, like I said, I will get a black one, like a nice everyday type color one. But um, let's get into the reason why I chose this color. Um, if you're wondering why I chose pink, you must be new here. Um, pink is my favorite color. I recently did get the MCM list coat in pink. So that pink is more like a coral pink versus this one is like a bubblegum pink. Like this here is the perfect pink. Like I've looked high and low for the perfect pink bag and not just from Givenchy, like just any perfect pink. This, this is the perfect pink. Like when you think, or me, when I think of the color pink, this is the color pink that I think of. And it's like a bubblegum pastel pink. It's the most beautiful pink in the world. I named this bag. I named her Princess Mobile Bone. Anyway, like this is just the perfect pink color. Like, oh, like, ugh. and like one thing about these bags, the colors, whenever they do come out with like special colors, they're always so vivid and beautiful. And I just love that so much. So if you're looking for one of these in a different color, just look it up. They may already have it. Um, hopefully they do so they can get you one too. Um, but I, I love this so much. Oh, and also one more thing. Like I said, this is in a size small. 
but this carries so much like th the medium would be too big for me personally but like in here i have literally everything i have two body sprays i have lotions i have my wallet i have hansen i have literally everything that i always carry I, and i can still fit like a water bottle in it two water bottles like this here it carries so much so small to me small equals medium and then the medium one is probably large if that helps you out the small is is enough like you don't need to get the bigger one unless you just like the size the way it looks on you also i am five foot so anything bigger kind of looks a little bit wonky on me as i have a, a smaller you know height so that's another reason why i chose the small but anyway i love her so much it is perfect and I'm just so happy. If you guys see me unbox another one, look, look, look. You are, look, I warned you, I want a black one. Like, I love this bag so much. And, and I'm so happy that I love it because it's been on my wish list forever. And like, you know how sometimes you finally get something and you're like, that's it? <laughs> like, that was it? That's what I've been waiting for this whole time? But like, it, it's everything I've ever wanted and I am so excited and so grateful that I was able to get it for myself. All right, guys, that is it for my first impressions of this baby. Um, give me about a month or so to do a full review. Like, I don't know. I just want to have more time with it before I tell you guys more about it. But these are my first impressions, and I really hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe before you go to join the Candy Crew, because the only thing we're missing here is you. I love you guys so much. And I'll definitely see you in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>